Hello, 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 and welcome back to Tandem Talk. I'm Rachel. And I'm Olivia. This week on Tandem Talk, we are talking about our sports careers. Yeah. And this isn't going to be a very long episode, I don't think, because we don't have that many stories. Yeah, it didn't last very sports. long. We did do sports, but believe it or not. What yeah. made us think of this is that yeah, yesterday I had a very chat. I had a very Seattle esque day, as you heard from maybe the last tandem talk episode. That's where we're from. We're from Seattle. I work at Starbucks, so I went and did a whole shift at Starbucks, and then I went to a Mariners game with my dad because it was his birthday. Olivia wasn't there; nope. she was stuck at work. But I went, work. and it got me thinking that baseball is probably the only sport out there that I can follow and that I kind of enjoy because, you know what, I don't do sports and I don't pay attention to sports. I mean, don't even quote, like, don't even count on me knowing a lot about baseball. If you ask me who's on the Mariners, I'll still think Ichiro's there. And that's... He's out there. Are you kidding? That's like from... Whoa. Long time ago. Anyway. But the point is, is that we used to play softball and mm-hmm. we played softball for three, three years. Three years? Now, keep in mind, these years were 5th grade, 6th grade, and 7th grade. So it wasn't like we played it, you know, the last three years. On any sort of professional level. No. Nowhere near that. But (laughs) we were pretty good at it. And um, so at my work, where I work, we have a company softball team. And I've been thinking about joining it just because I'm like, well, you know, I know how to play softball. I played it for like three years. But I also, I have to remember that it was so that was long, so long ago. ago and everyone else on the team is probably like still playing yeah. baseball and softball. So Here's the I thing. shouldn't compete with that. Olivia and I had a really unfair advantage in the fifth, sixth, and seventh grade. We So middle school is a hard time for anybody, okay? But if any of those reasons go to middle school, like why it's so weird, it's like just the fact that everyone is on different levels of where they are growth wise. I stopped growing in the sixth grade. I'm five foot four. As a 21 year old, that's not, that's, I'm, I'm like thousands of other 21 years old, 21 year olds. But in the fifth and sixth grade, when you're five foot four and like not just like that height, but, like, I had my same physique, I had my same voice, which is also very low, and I had everything. This is the same. I, I kind of looked like this, with the exception of a I, few things. I grew, so we were the same height yeah. up until 7th grade, and then in 8th grade, for some reason, I grew 2 inches taller than you. So I'm 5'6", yeah. and you're 5'4", but for real, we looked... I mean, I don't even think my face changed. I'm, no. Like, we looked like this in middle school. Yeah. And so, so picture as- what middle schoolers <laughs> now look like, and then picture two girls on a team of middle school girls, like, how they're supposed to look in middle school, walking up to the plate, you know, on a sixth grade softball team. Everyone, whenever we went up to bat, the other team, the coach of the other team would always be like... They're a, hitter. <laughs> They're a hitter. Step back, and the whole team would literally take like yeah. five steps back because we were like a foot taller we and like giant, bigger, scary and girls, scarier than everyone else on our team. And so. one thing that we found out like a couple weeks ago, we never had talked to each other about this. That we both did it, but during like the chants that you would do, oh, like yeah. in the dugout and stuff. We both did the same things. We mouthed the words to the chants because our voices were so much deeper than all the other <laughs> girls. It was like, so I'll be, I'll be the the other girls. Okay, and yeah. Let's just say, because okay, our 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 team names. We were the Red Eyed Tigers, two years. Yeah. And then we were the Queen of Black Diamonds, which I don't really. What is that? Ca- I don't know where that came from. Uh. But we wore black sweatshirts, and I thought it was cool. Yeah. But so let's just say, let's go. Red Eye Tigers, let's go, whatever. Okay, and I'll you're be, gonna be I'll every, be the rest of the team. Gonna... I'll try my best to. And I'll be uh, Rachel and Olivia, you know, in 2006 or whatever <laughs> the year it was. Ready? Let's, let's go, go Red Eye Tigers, Tigers, let's, let's go! go. <laughs> That's legit. It was like they're, a they're dad like, who was did, cheering yeah. along. <laughs> like, who brought their dad in the dugout? And then another thing is I was like, I knew that the, the, the sunflower seed thing was a thing. Oh, but yeah. we didn't know we that didn't. You, you split them open and eat the seed inside. So we were these giant, deep-voiced, 5th 
sixth, seventh graders who are eating whole sunflower and seeds, swallowing like, the seeds, <sighs> like swallowing. our throats were like oh, terrifying. We're just swallowing the seeds, we wouldn't spit anything out. Like everyone's like spitting. I'm like, no. what are you doing? It's like salty goodness. Yeah. And we weren't very, I mean, I mean we, we were okay. We were actually pretty Again, good. Again, unfair advantage. You were, so I was a catcher. Yeah. I don't know why that makes sense to me, but it does. Mm. Uh, something about me being twice the size of everyone else. It's like, I was a good catcher. And you were a pitcher, like, a little bit. Mm-hmm. So you, there was one game, I remember, you were pitching and I was catching, and we didn't let a single person hit. Yeah. I mean, we struck out everyone because we had... This, yeah, like, twin to but then the main pitcher was the coach's daughter, so I didn't get that position a lot. I was out in, like, the right field, like, where they put all the big girls. <laughs> I'm like, just go out there. Ball never goes to you. You'll just stand out there and it look was, dumb. <laughs> and, we, and it wasn't that we hated sports necessarily. Like, I loved the game. I loved being at the game, yeah. but I hated practice. I hated I warm-up. It. Us and another friend of ours, we would all bond over the fact, and she also played softball for a long time, Mm -hmm. we would bond over the fact that we used to try to, like, purposely injure ourselves at home. She threw herself down a whole flight of stairs. She's like, maybe I don't have to go to softball practice anymore. So we wouldn't have to warm up and go to practice. But we liked the games. Tournaments were fun. Tournaments were fun. But it was short-lived. And you know what I'm actually looking at right now? I know, I see it, too. Yeah, hold on. We have... Right here. Do you have two of them? Two of them. Here's yours. Red Eyed Tigers 2006. You were right. Participation trophy. Yeah, we didn't actually, like, no. win anything. It was I hit one home run in that three years, and it was because I was 20 minutes late to a game, and I had so much adrenaline because everyone was screaming at me. Because And then right as I got there, it was my turn to bat, and I just whacked it as hard as I could, and I got a home run. And I was, uh, that was a good moment in my life. Other than softball, which no. we did for the most, that's our longest career, we did, I mean, we did basketball, I did basketball camp. I did a soccer, did soccer camp, camp for a week because I week. thought that was going to be a thing. I, because I was so much taller than everyone around me, I thought basketball was my thing, but it really it was wasn't. not. Um, and then we actually did cheer no, camp. No, I did not. You did cheer camp for like two days. If you can imagine that. Yeah, I did bottom of the camp. pyramid. <laughs> When I was even young, I was put the big girl at the bottom. I think I I was still younger, I think, than our softball career. Yeah, but I still kind of looked like this. Like I think I was like at least five foot, maybe five foot two. Cheer camp with this low voice, like we were saying, couldn't we mad to mouth along? Let's go, Tigers! (laughs) Let's go! Cheer camp, if you can believe it. And then the only sport I, I, I ever really considered is volleyball, and I'm actually really good at volleyball. I'm gonna say it. I'm good at volleyball. Yeah, However, I almost did it in high school, but the only reason I didn't do it in high school is because you had to wear those little spandex shorts, or at least I think you had to. <laughs> and that was my only reasoning for not doing it in high school. Well, other yeah. than the fact that if you do theater as well, you can't. Yeah, there's no There's thing. no way. So we, we were like, did we want to continue our softball career, or do you want to do some theater? And of course... Yeah, no, they're not going to pick softball sport. at any time. Any it was moment. short-lived. It was short-lived, but uh, it was a thing, and um, it was traumatizing. Yes, it's very, very traumatizing to be five four in the sixth grade. Oh well. Oh well. All right. Well, let's do it in the box seat. All right. Here we go. In the box seat. In the box seat. Is it my turn, to Spin? Your turn. I think spin? it is. I think okay. I spun last time. Yeah. Okay. We got to start remembering this. Draw the box! <laughs> I, I, still it. On it. I still got it. Draw the right. box, which is fitting because it's the polar opposite of anything what we were talking about. No, you, you, you. Okay. All right, don't look. Oh, what have I got? Ooh, okay. Okay, we got it. Some a teacup. This is from our last play we did in high school. We did Alice in Wonderland. And if you're twins in theater at any point of your life, you're guaranteed to play Tweedle Dee and Tweedle Dum. We have done that twice now in our lives. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so we, were we did switch Tweedles. We did switch, yeah. You were D, I was dumb. Yep. And then I was D and you and were was dumb, dumb. Which was good. But um, we had in between shows on a Saturday, a matinee and an evening show, we had like a tea party with all the kids who went to the show. We were all in character and drinking tea with them. And we took a tea cup. I snagged from a tea it. cup. It's kind of gross. This was and dirty. part of the set, though, because we had this giant table for the yeah. Mad Hatter, and we like glued all these tea cups so, to it. So I, has some glue I ripped damage. it off at the end of the show and kept it. And I yeah. think it's really cute. You could probably actually drink out of it. Might get a disease, but that's okay. I wouldn't drink out of it. No. Anyway, 
We will see you next week on Tandem Talk and check us out on Monday for our newest video that is coming out. See you later.